Hello everyone, today we will learn how to send email notifications when new comments are added to Trello. Now Trello is a project management and project planning software and you add certain tasks that are called cards in Trello and you know what is the purpose of Gmail. So whenever in any card or task that you have created in Trello a new comment is added so the email notification for the same will be sent to your team members working on Trello. But this cannot happen automatically because both of these applications do not have a direct connection between them so it's a tedious and a manual task to do. But but what if I tell you we can actually automate this process with the help of Pabli Connect. We will create such an integration where our trigger will be a new comment added in our Trello account and our action will be to send an email in from Gmail. Let us learn how to do it. So in this video we will learn how can we send email notifications about any comment that has been added to your Trello card. Now this is my Trello account and you can see there are various workspaces created for different purposes. For example I am working on my social media post workspace and then in that these are the different lists and I have created different cards in every list. So if I take any random list over here and choose a card for example this one posted success has no shortcut. So I'll click on this and I will write a comment over here in my card okay so whenever a comment is added and not just me anyone else in my team is adding a comment so I will get an email notification when we will create this automation that a comment has been added so I can go through it so we will be doing this with the help of Pabli this is the landing page of Pabli and on the right hand side you can see two options sign in and sign up for free if you don't have an existing account you have to click on sign up for free but since I'm having one so I will click on sign in it will take me to the login page where I will just click on sign in with Google and then I will reach this page where I can see all the applications provided by Pabli to create automations. We are integrating or we can say we are connecting two applications that is Trello and Gmail. So we will be using Pabli Connect for that purpose. Click on access now and then we will be forwarded to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Reaching here, you can see a big blue button on the right hand side where it is written create workflow. Click on the button and give a suitable name to your workflow. I'm going to name it as send email notifications for new comments added in Trello. So this is the name I've given. Click on create and then a blank workflow will be created for you. You can see two boxes right here in front of you. On one it's written trigger and on the other it's written action. Now what is this trigger and action? A trigger is when this happens and an action is do this which means that whenever an event takes place whichever event you're talking about you are going, you're going to choose an application and further you will choose an event so whenever that event that or that trigger takes place in your trigger application then the action application will perform the assigned action so for this workflow trigger application is going to be Trello because the comment will be added in Trello and that is the beginning of the whole automation. So we will choose Trello and choose the trigger event as new activity in a list because if you search over here there is no comment trigger over here. So any kind of activity let's take it we chose this success has no shortcut for example here it is written activity and you can do various activities over here. So that is why we are going to choose our event as new activity in a list. Now we will click on connect because in order to detect any change or any activity in any list in our Trello account, Pabli Connect needs to have access for your account. Click on connect and then click on add new connection because you never know which existing connection you are having and is it the same as you're going to use over here. So we'll click on add new connection and then you will have to fill in some credentials. Now where are you going to find these credentials? The username, the API and the token. So you can find the above details by logging to your Trello account. We have already done that. Now Public Connect will automatically detect your account and then you can get the API key and generate a token from here. So here is a link which is in blue color. So click on here and it will take you to the developer API keys. Once you reach this page, you have to select this personal key, copy it from here and paste it in the field of API key because that is your key. Go back to developer keys and then you will read down here that something about token is also given over here. So you will click on this token link and then it will take you to this page where first thing that you will look at is your username because we need that too. So copy it from there and paste it right here. Then you have to go to authorize again, scroll down and give access by clicking on allow. Then they will provide you this 
token so copy this token and paste it in the token field so you have filled in all the credentials now we will click on save and our accounts will be connected the authorization will be successful next you will have to fill in further details so what is the board name the list name and the filter activity that you are going to talk about so what is the board name our board name was social media post see this is the board name okay so we will choose the board name in the given list either scroll down and find from this big list or you can just write over here which says social media post select this one then it will provide you the list of the list that the board is having so we have currently working posters and posted so when you go back to your trello you can see currently working posters and posted are the three list in our board so choose posted because we are going to work on this first card that has been created over here now the filter activity which means there are many activity that you can perform in trello and in a card in any specific card so you have to specify or mention that which activity exactly you are talking about so for example it's written over here create card update card or whichever way it is so you can get more activity types from here so click on here so it will give you a list of all the activities that can be performed and we are going to choose the one that is similar to what we want so here you can see comment card is written over here so this is our activity so we'll not copy it because the bullet will come along with it so make sure that you type it right here so it was comment capital c and card the same way how it was written over here write this and click on save and send test request but for that you have to change any activity over here when you click here go back to your social media post open this and you can write posted and reviewed okay and this is done click on save and then come back here and then see you have a response right here so this response is about the activity that we have performed and you can see this is the card name where the activity has been performed this is the list name and then the board name is here also you can see what is the activity that is the comment so when you scroll down you will find the comment as well here posted and reviewed so this is done now we have to send an email notification which means you have to use this information and send an email notification to yourself so our action application will be gmail select gmail and the event will be send mail connect your accounts by clicking on add new connection connect with gmail choose your google account and then give access by clicking on allow when you do this your accounts will be connected that's successful now you have to enter some details that will frame or compose your email so first is recipient address sender's name email content and whatever else you are going to add in the email that is composing a mail so what are we going to do we are going to do a little bit of mapping over here but not a lot of mapping is required first of all we will enter recipient email address which is required why because unless they have an address to post where are they going to post it so this is going to be your personal email address and why is it going to be because you will every time receive a notification that a comment has been added okay if you want more people to know about this comment you can add them in the cc and bcc section also now sender name is trello okay trello is sending you this mail then subject is new comment added okay this is the subject now you have to enter that the email content has to be plain and not an html program email content what it has to be is dear now see this is a very static information every time a new comment will be added it will be framed in this way only it's just that you have to map the lists over here okay dear trello user comma you have a new comment in your trello card put a full stop slash and n what is slash and n slash n is that everything that you are going to write after n will come under this line that you have already written so write here list name colon and then name the list name so what was the list name the list name was posted 
okay again slash n then you will write card name colon space and then the card name was success has no shortcut okay and then again slash n and then write comment colon and then you can enter the comment which it was posted and reviewed so this is the comment you've added this is done over here now any file or any attachment that you want to insert inside your mail then you can do that otherwise if it doesn't say is required over here it's not necessary for you to enter anything click on save and send test request and wait for the response from the action application now see first of all it says send only four responses are here now this is the link and it says that done one means it's done now we have to check it so first let's save our workflow till here and then we will go back to the gmail account to check that for have we received yes see new comment added dear trello user you have a new comment in your trello card and this is the list name this is the card name and this is the comment so we have received a notification mail over here which means that yes our workflow has worked in the perfect way so let's just close this window and then do a quick recap of what we learned in this video our trigger application was trello and our event was new activity in a list which means that whenever a new activity is added in the list that we are going to choose this pably connect will receive a response or capture a response like this when this response is received further a mail will be constructed and sent to this specific email address like this with all the details like the list name the card name and the comment and then you will click on save and send test request and this response will be received so do not forget to save your workflow right here and this was the whole video i hope this helped not just these applications but you can integrate many other applications using pably connect if you have any issue regarding pably you can email us at support@pably.com you can ask your queries at forum.pably.com and if you have any doubts regarding our pricing then you can connect us through this given website if you found this video helpful in any way then make sure to share this with your friends and colleagues to make their life easier by creating automations we will meet in the next video till then do not forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel thank you